I have already been working on phase four, which is going to include help for states, cities, and towns across the country. I spoke with the Speaker extensively over the week and, in fact, talked to her almost hourly. But our plan is to go forward to come to the aid of the first responders, to governors like Charlie Baker and Lieutenant Governor Polito, and to those governors across the country who are on the front lines, along with mayors and local officials. Well, no, at five, you know, you have, you have until five o'clock, obviously, that was the deadline, but I anticipate that uh, they won't meet that deadline, and the result will be that we will likely proceed to court as quickly as next week. It's a three trillion dollar package that would include assistance for state and local governments. It would extend unemployment insurance. It would provide another hundred billion dollars for our hospitals. It would include the retention tax credit and bolster the paycheck protection program. If we don't act, or if the Republicans in the Senate don't act, this would mean that up to 25 million people could lose unemployment insurance. Control. Cash flow is everything. So we are unlikely to buy into anything that Senator McConnell puts out that does not extend some shape and form to unemployment insurance, more money for our hospitals, the retention tax credit, state and local government assistance, and clearly to make sure that there's flexibility in the Paycheck Protection Program. <laughs> and I think that uh, we identified our voters early on and we decided that we would concentrate on getting them out and that's what we've done. It has the strength to pull this fully loaded. Well, I've delivered for this district. I mean, issues big and small, many of you have covered them over the years. I mean, when you think of the uh, extraordinary achievements that we've had, uh, whether it's North-South Rail, Courthouse, Union Station, Hello, I'm Sarah. <laughs> I'm Shibu. <laughs> and I'm Karen. And we're Banana, Banana Rama. Rama. And um, we're wishing you on Countdown a happy 10th anniversary. Have, Have a one good on one. We were only too happy to help with uh, innovative renewable energy support. That's a great example of far reaching. Land use, you stop and think of it. <laughs> the president has cast his ballots through the mail in the past. His family has cast their ballots through the mail in the past. There are Republican states and Democratic states that have embraced mail-in voting, and it has occurred without even a small hitch. It's an accepted part now, I think, of extending the franchise. The president votes by mail, and has. And we met him in New York, if you recall, and I think he felt he would never see us again. <laughs> and uh, we gave him a pretty tough time after that about Ireland. <laughs> Our hospitals received uh, hundreds of millions of dollars. And uh, that included the hospitals in our area. Shield your home, the it was a huge win for us getting the multi-employer pension relief bill done earlier this year. As all of you know, that wasn't easy. And we had been working on this issue for many years.